pomegranate has been considered as an alternative crop in Florida because of the citrus greening disease and it has decreased uh, citrus production a lot so people are trying to find another uh, crop and pomegranate has been growing in Florida for decades so that is a possibility and also pomegranates can to grow pomegranates you can use the same tractors sprayers fertilizations and and then some other things that have been used for citrus so it will be more convenient for growers there are a lot of diseases in florida because of the uh, humid weather and the rain, long rainy season uh, now i think uh, we have isolated like uh, Colletochicum species, Cercospora species, and Amphilogia, and Ella, yeah, and some other pathogens from the disease samples. I'm working on, on disease, uh, two screening varieties for disease resistance to leaf spot caused by Colletochicum species. So to do that, we develop a detached leaf assay First, we have to we grow the plants in the greenhouse to keep it clean and healthy out of disease. And then when it's ready, we collect the mature leaves and then take them back to the lab and surface sterilize that. And then prepare a clean box and put wet paper towels under it to keep it humid. And then uh, put the surface sterilized leaves on the paper towers and organize it and then we have to prepare the inoculum suspension that we took um, I usually took seven to ten days old cultures of colitochicum and then I will wash the spores and then dilute it to adjust it to one times ten to the fifth me uh, spore conidia per milliliter and then and then prepare the leaves and, and then take 20, 20 microliter of the spore suspension and put the drop on the leaves and then incubate it in the growth room with a temperature as 26 Celsius degree and the humidity inside the box is 90 to 100%. We show symptoms after three days and I will measure the symptoms uh, after six days. And I, I, I took picture of all the leaves and I measure the lesion size, the area of the lesion on the computer.